We begin with breaking news now here at 1130. We are learning that 19 year old USC student will not face charges in the fatal stabbing of a homeless man on Greek Row. Ivan Gallego says that he acted in self-defense. KT Life Ice Kimberly Chang live at the courthouse in downtown LA with the breaking details. Kimberly. Hi, we're standing outside of the courthouse. We were waiting for a court hearing that was set to start uh, later this afternoon, but now we are receiving a statement from the district attorney's office. Take a look. This is from District Attorney George Gascon saying, quote, after careful consideration and a thorough review of all available evidence, we have decided not to pursue charges against USC student Ivan Gallegos. We believe that Mr. Gallegos' actions were driven by a genuine fear for his life and the lives of others. Our heart goes out to the deceased family, friends, and everyone impacted by this tragic incident. Now, as I mentioned, an arraignment was scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon here in downtown LA. 19-year-old USC business student Ivan Gallegos was accused of stabbing uh, a homeless man. But now we know that those charges have been dropped. Dozens of supporters gathered in front of the courtroom to show support for Gallegos, including his mother. Gallegos was arrested, accused of stabbing a man to death during an altercation on USC's Greek Row Monday evening. Police say Gallegos and his two friends confronted a homeless man identified as 27-year-old Xavier Cerf, who they witnessed breaking into cars. At some point, Gallegos pulled out a knife and stabbed him multiple times, according to police. Now, Gallegos was arrested and booked on suspicion of murder and was being held on $2 million bail. But again, the DA has just announced that those charges will not be pursued. Now, these are photos of surf given to the LA Times by his mother. Gallegos did remain at the scene and told investigators that it was self-defense, telling police that surf told him he had a gun. A former USC student was here with others to support Gallegos. Tell us why you believe that this was self-defense. Because, well, I, I can't really speak too much about it, but I arrived right after it happened, and I they told me kind of everything that happened, and I was asking questions, questions, questions. Like, you know, I want to know the story more and more. And from what I was told, it was an act of self-defense. We, we don't know what could have happened, and that's the scariest part. And the thing is, with what happened, the, if the homeless man had a gun, because he did say he had a gun, he gestured, putting his hand in, in the pants, that he had a gun, what if he did? And we could have had three dead USC students on in the USC community, and that would have been very unfortunate and tragic. Now, I did speak with Gallego's mom just a short while ago. She is waiting outside of the courtroom. I told her that the DA has announced that charges has been dropped. She said that she did not want to comment just yet because she's waiting to speak with attorneys. But she did tell me that she is obviously very happy to hear that. For now, reporting live outside downtown Los Angeles, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. All right.